I'm reading the paragraph of a story in Korean, which is difficult. And English paragraph in Korean, Korean in English to me, who speak Korean. The letter is more difficult because I can familiar with the English words and sentence so that I can make a Korean is similar and then translating English to Korean. But within Korean, I understand totally easy, quickly. But when I translate Korean into English, reviewing English, it's quite different story because English structure, English expression is not the same as in Korean. So I should approach it differently. So um, it might be difficult. So I wonder one thing. Why I've not learned Korean to English. I've learned English to Korean in school, mostly. We read English, we learn English vocabulary. After then, we um, translate English into Korean and the meaning of Korean, uh, of uh, meaning of uh, um, the Korean uh, from English. So, and then that building it's comprehensible English, not Korean. So what I think is uh, one made uh, Korean um, express, one makes it difficult for Korean to express uh, English is uh, we don't learn, we have never learned Korean to English because uh, our mind, our ideas, our uh, information uh, is in Korean. But it's totally another view. So, and then I thought, okay, just leave you <clears throat> in the time. The little prince, uh, the realized the hat was not merely accessory, but its uh, own resilience with the endurance in the face of adversity. It taught him uh, sometimes what what was the freaky and un unapproachable at the grants holds within it. a treasure of the beauty and wisdom. So um, the little prince be the farewell to the hat carrying with the carrying with the the memories of their meeting and lessons, precious lesson. 
lesson that uh lesson it had imparted as the little prince travel among the stars he wore invisible hat of thorns a hat here or hat invisible hat is a a reminder a reminder that was uh, in bolo level strength and the beauty bloomed from the unexpected place. So I read uh, the Korean paragraph in English and I already read the English uh, first time and also to read Korean, I review and two times of English paragraph to understand the English pattern and some of words and resonance or some pattern of English sentence and also different a reminder. It's quite different. Sometimes this one is uh, and using the uh, what uh, what uh was a freaky and untouchable um from unexpected place maybe i forgot it unexpected place so and then i can review in english uh, uh review or korean in english so and then uh, yeah i i understand the so one thing so uh, first i said i told that um why we don't learn Korean to English? Only we learn English to Korean. Because it's a very difficult to Korean to learn, Korean to English. Teaching or maybe um, learning also. But uh, it's important to do that, Korean to English, because uh, if we um, put Korean aside, the English pattern, English expression remained. So we can use English. But when we practice the English to Korean, that is the problem because uh, English put aside, we only Korean, not English. So, and then uh, we, uh, the English is uh, for the information and knowledge, um, not the communication, not using. And that's, that's uh, I realized the, what I'm learning uh, with the AI, ChatGPT, and also the uh, Review Korean and in English. Anyway, to learn Korean uh, easily, and then I'll uh, give you some red and blue. I hope it will help you who learn Korean. Uh, the Korean is a unique, unique language. Um, maybe the Japanese uh, a little similar. Uh, I'll review about uh, blue here, about pronoun, or um, chosa, some, you know, helpers. And then uh, this one is uh, for the subject. Um, also, in the sentence, uh, also subject. And two subjects, usually that means there are two sentences. 
in 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 uh one uh sentence. Um, that is uh, uh first of all. Not a book B come in that and also um it's about or in uh when we express uh, the preposition of English in Korean it quite a little bit different. So and then comparing uh preposition in Korean the meaning meaning of Korean and there are many cases. Um, English also have um transformed from the verb. Korean also basic word uh noun, verb, uh, adjective, adverb from the dictionary, we should know that how it changed. Then, um, mm, so you can much familiar with uh, that pattern. And, and know Korean better. Even uh, these uh, sentences, this story is a long, long sentence. Um, not easy to understand, but if you know about each the blue part, and then um, you you can use it, Korean better. There are many, many, and the grammar, grammar things in in blue. Unique and uh, thing is uh, some of uh, in expression the, the sentence pattern of Korean and English is totally different. So um, you should know about and Korean, Korean, English in English. So that is my idea. And who learn, um, who learn uh, Korean here? And then maybe I think uh, level, uh, intermediate level, can you do uh, this pattern? And then more uh, uh, make it easier for them to learn Korean. I hope so. And uh, too many things with the uh, uh, blue. Unlikely English or Vietnamese and Korean, too many, too many blue because of helper, Josa. So each word um, combined with the, the Josa and helpers and also um, some grammar part and so many, many. And then knowing, understand about clearly and much easier to learn Korean. But also when we listen to uh, and we don't listen all the words. Um, we don't listen and all the meaning of word. Just so we listen the meaningful word. It's like a. Uh, Red thing, red give meaning, but blue not meaning. Just only um, make it clear 
and then connect. Make sentence uh, uh, perfect. That's all. So you should know that this part, very unique one. So uh, by understanding uh, these two parts, uh, maybe I think you can um, you can uh, listen better if you know about this uh, all understand love easy and so um because uh, uh, you can catch the meaning uh, what Korean people say. Uh, just so you can imagine, you listen to the news, watch the news, the, uh, the announcer uh, speak very fast. You cannot catch uh, almost the, all the things. <clears throat> but to understand, if you catch uh, some word, main word, then um, you can uh, understand. Also, the reading speed is the same. If you know about the blue parts, and know about the blue part, and you can read quickly, uh, understanding the story. The adding uh, helper in Korean, too many, but the pattern here uh, repeated. Very, very repeated. So knowing about this is not a big deal. You just, you got interested because you learned Korean uh, for many hours, maybe with many sentence, many, many, then um, Then um, you are uh, you can understand. Korean better. There are same uh, pattern like uh, all transform the. Bubble also and many the same one many yeah I think uh, Korea not easy. Oh, here, so many blue. In terms of, uh, in English, <clears throat> English, <clears throat> um, how about in English? <clears throat> Not many blue. Not many blue. Mm. The lab is, uh, <clears throat> I think, um, 6% or oh. And blue is uh, forty percent. But how about in Korean? Let me see. 
Um, almost 50 50. 50 is just a word like uh, noun, verb, adjective, and adverb. And then blue is a pronoun, helper, dosa, and some conjunction, uh, some the expression of uh, the end word uh, we call sosro and it's uh, normally um important one uh, in korean because uh, the ending word uh, is a unique pattern you should know about ending word focus on. and in, when you learn korean you should focus on about unneniga and ullul and the ending part, how to express the ending part. So uh, suro. And after then, you then you can add about Josa uh, helper with the, such as uh, preposition in English and then compare with it and then try to make it Korean from it, um, English to Korean. And it, at the same as when I, um, what I mentioned first, Korean to English is very important. So English to Korean is also important. When you <clears throat> put aside English, just Korean remains, so you can use Korean easily. Mm, if you learn, focus on Korean, just English, or Korean, Korean, then it's a little bit difficult to you can understand Korean, you can read Korean, you know about the meaning of the story, but when you express the Korean, you got a word. Me, I think uh, the same as uh, Vietnamese. I try to uh, Korean to Vietnamese uh, uh, doing that. Mm, with my language partner, Mr. Tan, Yesterday, I reviewed with him. Um, actually, it's easy to that. Vietnamese to Korean, easy. But Korean to in Vietnamese, difficult. And I think it's all the same situation to learners. Uh, when Tan reviewed, I realized that he also same, he got also same ex uh, experience from the Vietnamese, uh, uh, Korean to Vietnamese uh, much easier, and Vietnamese to Korean, uh, he got difficult because uh, I know that his expression a little bit not perfect. Then um, he review um, Korean to Vietnamese. Okay, <clears throat> finish. I hope you learn Korean easily. <clears throat>